I hope you could see from the description of modules two through seven that there is a lot to cover on the topic of using educational technology in the English language classroom. And there's more in module eight. First, we describe pedagogies that integrate the different aspects of language that we focused on one by one in the previous modules. Second, we note how technology supports language assessment. And third, we consider the future of language learning technologies. We also invite you to consider your own role in that future. We asked six teachers and researchers with years of experience to imagine for us what the future of technology holds for English language teaching and learning. Emily will talk about an intelligent tutoring system for writing instruction. Let's meet her. Hello, everyone. My name is Emily Duke Speltz, and I am a PhD candidate in Applied Linguistics and Technology at Iowa State University. My research interests are centered around applying writing process research to the development of innovative writing technologies. These interests stemmed from my experiences as a writing consultant at a university writing center and as an instructor of written, oral, visual, and electronic communication courses. Yasin will present his oral communication test made using a spoken dialogue system. This is Yasin. Hello, everyone. My name is Yasin Karatay, and I am an English language teacher and researcher in the field of English for specific purposes. Throughout my teaching career, I have taught several academic reading and writing courses and various ESP courses, such as English for Tourism, English for Medicine, and Technical English for Computer Engineering, both in Turkey and US. I also taught content-based instruction courses like photography, sports, and technology. Professor Chukarev Hudilenin will talk about his predictions about computers and the future of English language teaching. Let's meet him. Hello, everyone. My name is Yevgeny Chukarev Hudilenin, and I'm an associate professor in the Applied Linguistics and Technology program at Iowa State University. My background is in both computer science and linguistics. When I studied computer science, my focus was on different approaches to artificial intelligence, rule-based, statistical, and neural. In my linguistics research, I actually focus on psycholinguistics, which is the intersection between linguistics and cognitive psychology. This is April, who will present her research on virtual reality and language learning. Hi, everyone. My name is April Tan, and I am a PhD student co-majoring in Applied Linguistics and Technology and Human-Computer Interaction. In my graduate studies, I've been researching how emerging technologies can be leveraged for language learning and teaching. I am currently investigating the use of virtual reality, or VR, to recreate a fully immersive, simulated community that language learners can enter into and participate in. Professor Voss will talk about interactive listening and flipped learning. Let's meet him. Hello, everyone. My name is Eric Voss. I'm an assistant professor in the Applied Linguistics and TESOL program at Teachers College, Columbia University in New York City. I teach classes on language and technology, including corpus linguistics, computational linguistics, and technology-based language teaching. Professor Suvarov will talk about the impact of artificial intelligence on English language teaching and assessment. Let's meet him. Hello, uh, my name is Ruslan Suvorov, and I'm an associate professor in the Faculty of Education at the University of Western Ontario in London, Canada. I have over two decades of teaching experience in Ukraine, the United States, and Canada. And for a number of years, I also worked as a language technology specialist at Yale University and at the University of Hawaii at Manoa, where I helped many other world language educators integrate technology in their instructional practices. Our six futurists begin to paint a picture of what the future may hold for using educational technology in the English language classroom. But an important part of that future will be how you use technology in your teaching and how you help your colleagues learn about using technology in their classrooms. We hope that this course will advance your current knowledge, skills, and interests to increase your expertise. 